Welcome to The Three Minute Theologian, a theology podcast about what we believe, written by the pastors at Waukee Community Church. I'm your host, Jennifer Crow, and today's episode is all about love. Most people who believe in some kind of personal deity would agree with 1 John 4 8, which simply states, God is love. And yet, over the course of the past 25 years, a dramatic shift has happened. People no longer think of love in terms of sacrificial action. Instead, love now means unquestioned affirmation. Today, when someone hears that God is love, they hear, God affirms me as I am. What people can quote from the Bible has also changed. 25 years ago, the most famous passage in the Bible was John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son. But today, if you were to ask a random person to recite any passage from the Bible, they would probably say Matthew 7, 1, judge not lest ye be judged. For our current world, judge not is the highest form of love. But simply affirming someone's choices is, in actuality, not any form of love at all. And it's nothing like the perfect love that God has for us. When the Bible talks about love, It means more than what we think it means. And the Old Testament word for love is a perfect example of this. In Hebrew, God's love is hesed. Hesed love isn't just a feeling, and it isn't an affirmation. Hesed love is a loyal love. It's God's commitment to love sacrificially because he is loyal to the relationship he has with his children. Pastor Dave has defined hesed love as an unyielding, faithful, loyal, kind, unbreakable, unstoppable, never-ending, relationally driven love. This also means God's love is covenantal, generous, satisfying, and best. This is the kind of love that God has for us. Romans 5 tells us, God showed his love for us, and that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. The full expression of God's love was manifest on the cross. Jesus' loyal love for you and for me drove him to give up his life so that we could gain life. His love was sacrificial, and his love is meant to be emulated. Our lives ought to reflect the love of our great God, and this will be particularly evident in how we treat others. In 1 Corinthians 13, the Apostle Paul describes this kind of love, saying, God's love is patient. It doesn't give up on people. God's love isn't self-seeking. It seeks the good of others. God's love isn't easily angered. It doesn't delight in evil. God's love isn't afraid to speak the truth. And God's love always perseveres. It never fails. Our lives can only be imperfect reflection of God's love. But when we live, love, and give like Jesus, people can see God's love at work. Will your life be a reflection of that love to others? Mm -hmm. 